Cruisers, thank you for joining us for our daily cruise news updates and welcome back. We have four new updates coming up as traffic difficulty warnings for one port and also Royal Caribbean cruise ship has cancelled ports. Watch these videos and more with all news fed directly to you from cruisehive.com. Royal Caribbean International Symphony of the Seas has made a positive green step forward for the maritime sector. The company successfully tested a biofuel blend for the massive ship, demonstrating that sustainability cruising can be a reality while it was based out of Barcelona during the 2023 season. During the extensive testing, the ship's technical systems operated without safety or quality concerns. Sustainable biofuel blends created by refining renewable materials like waste oils and fats and mixing them with traditional fuel oil proved to be cleaner and more sustainable. So cruisers, what are your thoughts on the biofuel blends? A big tick or thumbs down? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Princess Cruises announced it will again deploy its Diamond Princess to Japan for the spring and summer season of 2025. Cruisers can look forward to 36 destinations in three countries and choose from two cruise tours from a home port of Tokyo between March and August 2025. She will feature a 7 to 22 day voyages to three dozen ports of call across Japan, Taiwan and South Korea. The 13-day highlight of Japan includes a land tour in Kyoto and Tokyo, followed by an 8-day sailing with port calls to Nagasaki, Sakaminyato and Aomori and Pusan, South Korea. The Southampton City Council's alerted travellers about excessive traffic in the port area for the next few days, which can cause delays for cruise passengers arriving or departing from the port of Southampton. The heavier than typical traffic near the port began on September the 19th, not only due to the three cruise ships in the port, but also the home game of a soccer match in the area. In port are both P&O Cruises Ventura and Cunard Lines Queen Victoria as they disembark and embark more than 10,000 guests combined for both ending and beginning sailings. Now with so much traffic anticipated, cruise guests I'm sure will want to plan extra time for reaching their ships after exploring the city. Radiance of the Seas Royal Caribbean International Ship is having a tough month as the ship's first sailing after several cancellations due to technical issues with its propulsion system has now had a dramatic itinerary change. Four out of five planned ports of call are cancelled, with the arrival in Vancouver the only scheduled call. The ship was to depart Seward, Alaska on September the 15th on its final southbound sailing of the Alaska season. Now, poor weather conditions with strong winds and heavy swells have radically impacted the itinerary, with the ship remained in dock finally departing on September the 18th. And that's it for me today, cruisers. My name is Paul and thank you for watching the video. Now, if you wish to see the news we've covered in the video, please visit our website on cruisehive.com. If you wish to be kept updated and stay informed in the world of cruising, then don't forget to like our channel and hit that subscribe button. Have a good day, cruisers, and I'll see you in the next video.